In this video, I'm going to show you how we can have dynamic checkboxes. What do I mean and what are we going to do? Here I have my checkboxes here. When I click on this one here, you'll see that it goes into this data set, gets the sum of A, load it there, and also highlights A. If I click B, B is added to happens, then C, and lastly, D. It's very good for highlighting and knowing how much you click adds up to. So I'm going to start from scratch. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is add checkboxes here. So I'll go to data, validation, then select checkbox, say OK. And I have my checkboxes working fine. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is use the sum ifs, which takes the sum range. This is my sum range. I fix it, then comma, the criteria, my criteria will be right here, lock it, then comma, my criteria will now be this one here, close brackets, enter. And I think it's okay to say this. So what this does, it gives me the sum of A, B, C, and D extracting it from here. But this is not what I want. What I want to achieve is that when I click on A, I get some A. When I click B, I get some B, and so on. So what I'll do is I'll come here, copy my formula, cut it, and then I'm going to use the if function, if this value here is true, comma, give me the sum. If not, return zero, close bracket, enter. So when I uncheck, it is zero. When I check, it gives me the sum, and that's exactly what I want. So I can comfortably copy this down and also add my sum right here. So I can do a quick number formatting using these buttons on top there. So the sums are added as I check and uncheck what is in the checkbox. Now, the next thing I want to do is connect this to my table here so that when I click on the checkbox, A is also highlighted right down in this data set. When I click B, B is also highlighted on the data set. So what I need to achieve is that I need to make sure that if This checkbox, which I lock, is true. I can say code true or just leave it like that. Then this value, and I'm going to lock the column, should equal to this value, should equal to that value which I lock, a four. All other cases return a false. So when I click, make it true, it returns true. 
that's what I want. So I need to copy this formula down like so, and you'll observe that all the A's are trues. This is true, and this is true because this one is true. That's my first formula. The next formula is also going to be the same, where if this cell, if this cell, I need to lock that, is true, then this value, a lock D, should equal to this value, should equal to that value, then I lock that one as well. All other cases, return false bracket. Okay, so there it returns false, I copy it down, and that is my second formula. So you'll see that if I click this one, B's will be added right here. And of course, I'll do the same for the others as well. Copy this, come, and then we'll say, if C, D4, right there, is true, then D10 should equal to C4, like so, enter bracket, copy down. So when I click, now C becomes highlighted right there and this one also. And lastly, my formula is gonna be, just need to copy this, copy, from here, this, if I do like this, then I say the last formula now is for D. So if my D5, D5 is true, then D10 should equal to C5, like so. Then copy this down. And then you'll observe that when I click on D, all values relating to D are highlighted, are turned into true. So these are the conditional formulas that I'm gonna use in conditional formatting. So I'll highlight my data, let me copy my formula here. Highlight this data here. Format, conditional formatting. I use a formula, custom formula. I paste in, I give it a color, maybe this color. Say, okay, you see, that one gets highlighted. Go to the next, copy this. Come, highlight my data, custom formula, go down there, add it here. Have it, I'll leave that color. Next, copy this. Highlight this, add a formula, custom formula, go down, paste it there. Say, I give it a nice different color, maybe that one. Said, okay, pick for D, comma, highlight my data again, add, use custom formula, like so. 
paste the formula, give it a nice color, maybe this one here, I'll say okay, and I'm done. So when you see, so right now we are set and everything is right, working okay. I can delete this, close that, come back up and test what is happening. So red, A, A is highlighted, B, B is highlighted. When you do that, only B is highlighted, C, D. So this is how you can use the dynamic checklist to highlight values at the same time, sum them up. Thank you for watching. Hope this has been helpful. And if so, please subscribe and like the video. See you in the next video.